Hi, this is Paula Bernier at TMC. I'm here at IT Expo speaking with uh, Hugh Goldstein. He's VP of Strategic Alliances at Boxbone. Welcome. Thank you, Paula. Uh, for those not familiar with the company, uh, tell us a bit about Boxbone. Uh, thank you. So Boxbone is a company that helps our clients globalize their IP communication services. And we do that by providing telephone numbers uh, from 52 countries and delivering calls that those numbers receive to the, our clients' networks through SIP trunking. So we are able to instantly deliver a telephone number from 52 countries uh, upon the order. And uh, this is something that our customers um, find very powerful and helps them to address global customer requirements. Uh, you were here with us at the um, last IT Expo in Vegas. Tell us what's new in the past few months for the company. Yeah, well, there's been a lot of changes in the industry. We've seen a lot of growth. Um, one thing we noticed in 2013, um, over 40% of our DID orders happened through our API. So uh, our customers um, have been using an API since 2007. Voxbone was one of the uh, first companies to develop what is now called a telecom API. Um, and uh, there were a few updates that we have rolled out in a new launch just the past month of our API 3.0. Um, including uh, many security features, new functionality, faster performance. So that's, that's new. And we've also continued our development um, of uh, serving new market segments such as contact centers. Just a few weeks ago, we announced uh, a new customer, Capgemini, um, who has a, uh, a cloud contact center outsourcing service that's very uh, strong in Europe. And they've selected Voxbone to allow their clients to source numbers from 50 countries, uh, 52 countries, and, and deliver that to their, uh, to their contact centers. And I understand you're going to be on a panel later today about uh, over-the-top services you see and its relationship to numbering. Can you talk a bit about that? Sure. So yeah, the panel will explore the, the trends in over-the-top services unified communication services, and how numbers enable these, these, uh, these trends. So there are some over-the-top services that don't have telephone numbers associated with them and are very successful. Um, there are others that are clearly using numbers as a link to personal identity and, and still others that are built around numbers in ways that um, you know, having numbers uh, is, is critical to their performance. So for unified communications in particular, um, over the last 30 years, you know, the telephone number was the only identifier that a, a person would use to reach another person or a business, if you go back 30 years. Today, there's a plethora of identifiers, from Twitter handles to Skype IDs, Facebook, uh, Internet, uh, SIP URIs. But the telephone number remains a critical piece of identifier information, and a lot of unified communications companies, especially in a B2B or uh, B2C space, um, they need to be able to source numbers and front end their unified communication services with them in order to be commercially relevant and successful. So we're in a phase now where there's um, overlapping identifiers, but the telephone number we feel is, is uh, still essential to the success of a lot of IP communication services. And we see that in our customer base as more and more cloud communications companies and UC providers turn to us to be a, a trusted source for uh, international E-164 numbers. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you very much, Paula. Again, it's Paula Bernier uh, with Hugh Goldstein of Voxbone here at IT Expo.